So you need to tell us what happened, because what it looks like is you and Perry stabbed Zoe. No. No, I thought we were just gonna leave her in the woods, just scare her a little bit. Then why did you bring a knife? I didn't bring a knife. Perry brought a knife. She brought one for her and one for me. She said it was for protection. Tell them how Perry scared you. The detectives need to know whose idea this whole thing was. It was all Perry's idea. We went to the park and then we went down this path and Perry tripped her and hit her in the head with a rock. And then she told me to stab my sister. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I swear. Okay, okay. So what happened then? She went crazy stabbing Zoe. And I shouted, stop. Okay, there was so much blood. Perry said that she would kill me if I didn't do as I was told. Do you see this? Perry has made a victim out of both of my daughters. There was always something off about that girl. We understand. Keep, keep going, Mew. Zoe was lying there. And Perry, she, she took my knife and the camera and she threw it away. She made me cover my sister with leaves. She held a knife to my throat, okay? She said that we were going to Glasgow Man's mansion and that I have to forget about Zoe. Her eyes were buggy and she looked like a maniac. Okay, she's crazy. I thought she was my friend, but she's crazy. Mia is blaming you, Perry. She said that stabbing Zoe was your idea. But we don't understand is why you would want to hurt your friend's little sister. It wasn't my idea. All right. You want to tell us what really happened? I was simply following orders. Whose orders? Glasgow man. He comes to me at night. We communicate. He stared into my eyes and told me my mission. If I failed, he was going to take my breath away at midnight. I had to prove my loyalty. Harry, where are you getting this? Let her talk. Harry, how did you prove your loyalty? I had to take innocent blood. OK, whose blood? Zoe, that's how you get to be a proxy. But when Zoe was lying there, bleeding, I didn't feel Glasgow Man's presence. I started to doubt. That's why she survived. He must have switched the plan. OK, so what did the plan become? He led us to the gatehouse in the form of a cat. But I mean, I, I knew it was him because he he had Glasgow Man's eyes. And when I looked into them, he told me to murder Mia. Cool. Then what happened? The cat was glaring so powerfully, trying to make this hypnotic connection. I couldn't take it, so I stabbed it through the heart because I didn't want to kill my friend. Glasgow Man tricked me. I swear this isn't my daughter. I've never heard her talk like this before. Can I have a moment with my client and uh, her mother? The counselor, what do you think? First impression, she's not competent to stand trial. For what it's worth, there was no sign of this behavior before she knew that we were onto her. She took two girls into the woods, stabbed one, stabbed herself, killed a cat. I'd call at least one of those a sign.